the bargain hunt star warned people interested in antiques and gave some tips as to how to avoid mistakes. He detailed a key phrase people shouldn't trust when looking into antiques, and it's one heard quite often, said to have been. The BBC expert advised only to trust what has been absolutely proven. Never take anything at face value, always research everything, and don't be enticed by a rather good yarn, or the phrase it's said to have been, he stated. Continuing, the antiques specialist commented, don't trust anything until it has been proved without a shadow of a doubt. You never stop learning and yes, of course, I make mistakes. Who doesn't? But when you don't want to learn more, when you get complacent, that is the time to give up completely. And, with me, that isn't going to happen, trust me. The 55-year-old detailed a personal experience that had taught him the lesson. He recalled, the first time that I'd ever done any real research on an antique was when my mother came home and brought with her a chaise long that she'd bought, and she told me this piece of furniture had once actually been owned by no less than Lord Nelson. I was fascinated and determined to find out more about it. Well, the upshot was that I was able to inform my mother, without any shred of a doubt, that it had been made a full 25 years after the hero's death. Speaking to the Yorkshire Post, he added, I was triumphant. She, of course, was furious. He went on to explain how some dealers don't properly look into the history or details of items. There are some people who really haven't got a clue about what they have on their shelves and cabinets, and some of the prices are outrageous, he commented. They'll label something as Art Deco when it is really a reproduction from the 1970s, and then to cap it all off they'll spell it Art Deco. I'd offer this as a thought, if you can't spell it, don't sell it. David left the Hit Antique series in 2020 but remains a respected expert. He made the announcement on Twitter that he would be leaving Bargain Hunt for good in October 2020. He explained it was time for him to move on from the beloved BBC series. David wrote, Re, Bargain Hunt. What can I say? Huge and grateful thanks to everyone for your comments, likes and shares after my post yesterday announcing that I'm leaving at BC Bargain Hunt I'm bowled over by your kind words and they're so very appreciated. Thanks again. Bargain Hunt is available to watch on BBC iPlayer.